swag. Let's go. Welcome to our first newsroom session of 2015. Uh, today we have a special session out in the gazebo. And today we have Jake Roke and Taylor Landing. Thank you guys so much for being part of us tonight. Of course, um, thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us about how you guys started playing together. Well, it all started. Um, we, I knew her grandfather when I went to high school. He taught at my school. Um, and so I showed up to CBU. And when I met her, she was like, oh, I'm Taylor Lanning. And I was like, Lanning, like, do you know Mr. Lanning? The <laughs> Mr. Lanning. And she's like, oh, yeah. Like, and so we found out that um, we knew each other. I knew her grandpa. Um, and then I guess that's where we started hanging out. We both found out that we were in the music program here at school. Um, and so we started just like talking about like creating music and stuff that we were working on. Um, and then eventually we got around to I had been working on a YouTube channel that I was making music on. And we were singing together, and I was like, hey, we should like record something together. And then she was like, yeah, let's do it. So. Christmas time came around, and we're like, what better song to cover than Baby It's Cold Outside? So we covered it, and that's where it all began. That's where it all started. <laughs> so was that your first YouTube cover song together. that you guys did together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first one together. Okay. So had you guys like already created fan bases individually, or is your YouTube channel like solely together now? Um, I started out a little bit beforehand um, on YouTube doing stuff on my own, and Taylor had been doing a lot of music, um, just like, I guess, with, like family and friends, and like yeah. sharing that sort of way. Yeah, um, like through Facebook, and I would post up on YouTube, but it was really just for my family and friends, because they, you know, I have family that lives far away, and they love to see it. Um, and then after it, we got really good feedback off of a couple of our videos, and so I was like, why not just start making more videos, more regularly, you know? That's awesome. So you guys covered the hanging tree from yes. Mockingjay, right? Yes. Um, so how did that gather like as much attention as it did? Were you guys surprised? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely <laughs> yeah. surprised. Um, I think the main reason why I gathered a lot of attention was because with CBU actually, I went to see the midnight premiere, mm -hmm. um, and after the show, my roommate was he was humming the song the hanging tree, and he's like, oh, like that song stuck in my head. I want to go look it up. And so that, for me, kind of sparked the idea of, like, everyone's going to see this movie tonight, and, like, they're going to be seeing it all weekend, and, like, like it's going to be, it's obviously a really big movie. And so I thought, what if I just covered the song, and when people go up to look it up online, they're going to find our version, and if they like it, you know, hopefully they're going to watch it and share it around and that sort of thing. And so I came back the next night, and I was like, Taylor, there's a song, we got to cover it, like, I think people are going to be looking for it, and I think that we could do a cool arrangement of it, and it's kind of this haunting thing, and so... I went over and she was like, yeah, I haven't seen the movie yet, but let's totally do it. And so um, I kind of made up chords to it and like sang the melody and she made some like really creative harmonies to go with it. Are you, are you coming to the tree? They strung up on man, they say. <laughs> so I was, I just like kind of, I don't know, skeptic, I guess. I was a skeptic. And I was like, the song is like brand new. Like, I was kind of thinking that the opposite way. Like, the song's brand new, like nobody's going to be looking this up. I haven't even seen the movie yet. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, I don't even know what this is. Like, I'm going to have to sing a song and I have no idea how it even goes. It was kind of creepy. So <laughs> on top of that, I was just like, I don't know. I mean, like, okay, like, let's just do it and we'll see what happens. And it obviously worked out for the best. Yeah. It was really super, I mean, I, I knew, I had known that a lot of people were going to go home and look up this video, but, but the next day when I woke up and there was 30,000 views on the video, it was pretty shocking. And when it grew from there, it was, it was pretty amazing and incredible. Like we definitely weren't expecting that, that sort of response. Wow. So, and then how did it get picked up by iTunes? Um, iTunes, they actually, there's a company called Louder, and they came to me, and they approached me before with some other covers that I've worked on, um, and they said that they would offer to do all the licensing for my music, because I don't actually own the cover songs, um, and so they would go like to the labels or whoever owns the songs, and they would work out an agreement, and basically they would um, give them 20% royalties, and Louder takes 20% for doing the business side of things, and they leave 60% 
to the artist. And so when I heard of that and I saw this song the next day with the views that it had, um, I emailed them and I said, I know you guys are probably out of the office because it's a weekend, but there's this brand new song that just came out and I covered it and it's getting a really good response. So it'd probably be like a really good idea for both of us if it was up on iTunes really soon. Um, and they got it on Spotify and Google Play and a lot of different places too. And so they actually, the next day, had it up on iTunes, um, and the following days had it up on all those other sites too. And so it was really convenient that they did it so quick because it, it blew up so fast. So, yeah. Cool. And then uh, just tell us a little bit about your other songs that you covered. Um, I know you did like a Noah Gunderson song, mm -hmm. and then I didn't recognize the other one, so I wasn't sure about that. Yeah, um, we did... Oh, we did an Ed Sheeran song, um, okay. and Ed Sheeran is probably one of my biggest musical inspirations, um, and that's a song, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and that's, when I do shows, that's typically like a crowd favorite type one, it's a high energy, you know? inspiration and Noah Gunderson as well kind of from the opposite side of the spectrum songwriting wise um, but they're both very intricate songwriters and Noah Gunderson has really deep like lyrics that make you think about things that maybe I haven't thought about before um, and he's got this kind of like rough like live like raw kind of feel that I really like about him Chelsea Antiveros with a CDU banner, and we will see you next time.